Hello, I'm Jody Wolf. You're watching Exposed, April 30, 2016 at 2.06 a.m. Birmingham. Let me read Matthew 24, verse 24, and uh, see what you think. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible that they shall deceive the very elect. The reason I read that is coming off of this other blog. How is it that these 57 Muslim nations in Russia that already told Benjamin Netanyahu at a previous meeting when Netanyahu said, you know, Ezekiel 36 has passed. That means we're home and whoever comes after us after that will die. He agreed. And this is Obama, supposedly a Christian, should know that verse. But are all of them brain dead? What's going on? Knowing that this would be the end result, are they brain dead? Or is it that they're just being deceived? What is it that's deceiving them? Money? Power? Well, I would think that's two of the things. Greed? That's three of the things. And um, bullies, well, that's four. About anything you can think of, as long as they have someone to push around that makes them feel tough. But yet, God told the mountains of Israel, look, they're coming. And when they come and... What the mountains will do, can you imagine an army creeping over that mountain? I had a story, I'm going to skip back a number of blogs about uh, a, a surveillance team of IDEA going into Hamas territory, seeing where these missiles are being assembled that were coming out and being fired. And then all of a sudden, daylight's coming. And the, the Jews, I think there's three in number, maybe more, like, oh my God, we don't have time to get out of here. All we can do is radio and tell them, yes, they're under this big brown tent assembling these missiles that are shooting at us. And what happened? Right, right there. I mean, daylight's up. Several of the guys under the tent walks out to the edge of the bluff. Maybe to use the bathroom, I don't know, but walks there. And here are the Jews 20 feet in front of them. What do you think would have happened if Hamas saw them? Well, they'd kill them right there and then go shoot some more rockets. But what did happen instead? A thick fog formed and instantly rose up and covered the Jews, hid them while they went all the way back down that hill, back over in their side and back up into the valley to safety. And then the fog lifted again. In the mountains of Israel, this is part of the mountains of Israel right there. All of Israel. That's exactly what's going to happen. Somehow, the fog is going to be so intense. And I know we have aircraft that fog doesn't confuse. But God's got something in that fog that will. And when these men on the mountains start attacking, again, go back 
and 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 I can't even think of his name now. I did a blog on him recently about the three hundred that went against the two hundred plus thousand. Well, they didn't have to fight them. The two hundred plus thousand killed each other. This is what's going to happen on the mountains above and around Israel. The fog is going to come down, confuse them. They won't see a foot in front of each other, but they will start fighting. They'll hear gunfire and think it's the Jews coming, so they're going to start shooting. Well, before the sun comes up, the only ones that's alive will be one out of six. Five out of six will have died right there, wherever they were. The aircraft in the sky, the helicopters in the sky, if they were involved. When I said A-16s a while ago, that, was a, that came out. There's no A-16. A-6, really, that's just a trainer off a, a carrier. But when I'm talking about F-16, F-22, Raptors, and any number of uh, eight or nine others that they're using now, they will be confused in the skies and they will shoot each other down and they will be crashing on the mountains above and around Israel. And that's why God told the mountains, they're coming, do your work. <laughs> so whatever is going to be in that cloud will be enough to confuse the radar on the aircraft, enough that they will think they have their targets in sight. Not so. They have their own men as targets in sight. And they'll shoot their own men down. So I wanted to bring that up and mention that to you. But then the other part, even the very elect being deceived, how can so many intelligent people get so stupid to believe that, well, I think the biggest belief in the world is the, that think that you can go in and defeat Israel. I mean, my God, I mean, but he's talking about believing the lies of the Antichrist and following him, that he'll deceive many. In fact, he'll deceive most. And, um, but yet, the being deceived, they're starting early. They're getting prepared for the great deceiver. You know, if they're deceived this early now through and blinded by hatred for the Jews, Keep in mind, before the Jews were called back home, God gave this land to them a long time ago. Long time ago. And now the tribe of Judah came our Lord. And that's their land. And God says, you will return it. I will put skin and meat back on your bones and breathe air back in you and you'll come home. They came out of the ovens. They came home from Auschwitz. They came home from Germany and Poland. And they're home. He said, and when you get there, you won't leave again. No one will make you leave again. You are home. Prior to them going home, Israel was a dust bow. No one could grow a stick. But the land itself knew when they would arrive when the Jews would arrive they knew it God told them you watch for my people then you rejoice with them and uh, that's exactly what the land did I mean but look land that's not supposed to do but so much per acre they're getting four to six times that amount than we can do at our best at the science field, you know, where the agriculture, uh, like Auburn, Alabama, they're supposed to be the, some of the greatest in the field of make, making fields grow the most. Of course, HMO stuff, but Israel doesn't have any HMO crap in their food. But the thing is, the land rejoiced with the people when they returned. The land burst forth. The springs, the Guiana Springs, bubbled up and started flowing again. It had flowed in 2,000 years until 1948, and it bubbled up. It came out of the ground, and it'll never stop. It'll keep flowing this time. Jody Wolf Exposed.